Hi, in this video of C programming, we are going to discuss about switch statement. As we have already covered the control flows where we were controlling the flow of a execution of a program. And regarding that only, we covered the if statement with various varieties. Now, here in this video, we will discuss about the switch statements. So basically, inside a switch, first of all, you will pass an expression which will return a value. Whatever the data type of that value is, we will start putting the cases inside the switch block which would be having the same data type. As here you can see, after the switch, we have an expression. So apart from an expression, you can also put a variable. Just you cannot put the constant value right here in the expression place. Once the variable or expression is passed, as I just said, it will evaluate a value of a particular data type. Whatever is the data type, we will start putting the cases after that. Like here you can see case keyword and then after a constant expression. Means if I'm talking about an integer expression, I, will, I can use case 1, case 2 because 1s and 2s are the constant figures. And we have already covered the constant chapters in previous videos in a great detail. Now, here you can see like case constant expression, then after a colon symbol, and then after you can put as many other statements you want to execute on a particular case. Case means if the value which is evaluated by this expression will be equal than this uh, to this constant expression. If it is same, then that particular set of statements will get executed. And after that, I don't want anything to happen. So for that, I will use a break keyword. Break keyword is basically syntactically optional, but programmatically in C language, we must put it. So that once this case execution is done, I will terminate, I want to terminate this complete switch statement because I don't have to do anything uh, further in this switch statement. So just write an option, uh, just write a break keyword which will terminate this switch statement. Similarly, you can pass as many as case statements you want. Whichever value will be compared successfully, that particular case will get executed. If none of the case is true, means none of the value is being compared successfully with any case, then we can also put an optional default. This default will be executed uh, when all the cases are not getting matched and then after uh, you can put the number of statements and again the optional break keyword. The important thing which is to be noticed for this if uh, switch statement is like it will do a short circuiting means it will I'll pass an expression and it will not check the case one by one whichever case is true we will means the control will directly jump on that particular case and it will be executed similarly if none of the cases are getting matched then the control will directly jump on this default block and then it will be executed so let's see practically how and what all we can do inside this switch statement. Now here in case of switch statement, first of all, I have taken a character from the user to check whether that particular character is a vowel or consonant. Vowel means any character amongst A, E, I, O, U. So there is a variable called CH in which I will take a character. For character, I should use percent %C rather than percent %D. All right. So here, what I have done, it is ch percent c and then am percent ch. So the value will be going in the address of variable ch. Now after that, as soon as you have taken, you here in the switch parenthesis, you can pass any expression or a variable. So here it's a variable which is having a value of character type. So all the cases here will be con containing the character type of constants. So here. I have put all the characters like A, E, I, O, U, uh, especially in lowercase by default. All right, you can also add the cases for the uppercase. Now, so here in case A, there is something called A is vowel. All right, case E, I, O, U. In 
all these cases I have put something A E I O U is vowel and if none of the case will be satisfied then optional as optional it is uh, I have placed a default where I have put either it will be a consonant or a special character so let's first of all execute it and we'll see how the output is looking like so let's enter E so it is saying E is a vowel let's execute again I'll say R it's either consonant or special character all right so, so right now I'm just dealing with these lower cases if I will write capital A it will again say consonant or special character so if I want to add one more case what I can do is I can just pass a case right after this and I'll put a capital A you can collectively write all the cases all together and after that you can give a common definition like I'll do it for couple uh, rest you can try that in a very same way like case A case E so now when I'll execute and write A it will give me A is vowel that means for these couple of cases this common definition will work for these couple of cases this common definition will work and so on so this is how you can work with the case as I said like as soon as you will execute a switch statement it will directly jump on the relevant case and then the execution will be done but as in if we used to compare the conditions one by one so that's why there should be a sequence but here sequence actually doesn't matter even if I'll cut this default which we generally put at the last uh, but even if I want I can put it somewhere in middle but the this will not make any change in the execution and in the output as if I'll enter O it will still show O is a vowel though it is after default that simply means like it will directly make a jump on this particular case but if I'll enter anything like W then it will show you the same message consonant and spe or special character so as we see the sequence really doesn't matter inside a switch statement as soon as we are getting it right now let's take one more example we're using switch statement I'll try to find like how to find a even odd number using switch statement so here I have taken a number from the user because I need to check whether that number is even or odd so inside this switch statement I will pass I have passed one expression that is num mod 2 so this is an expression which will result an integer value that is either 1 or 0 means the remainder so if the remainder is 0 then it will work with case 0 and it will say printf number is even and after that as I used to I will use the break statement as well so let's execute and if I will enter 34 you see number is even again I will execute say 45 number is odd so as I said like you can anytime put any variable or an expression in this uh, switch statement and in the cases there must be a constant now let's see one more scenario what if I will remove this break statement so let's execute this and you see there is no syntactical error or warning if I'll say 34 you will get both the messages like number is even number is odd because this case is true and after that if you will not terminate this all the statements after this will keep on executing which is logically not correct so even so in some other languages like C sharp or Java the break is syntactically compulsory here in C it is not compulsory but definitely for getting the correct output we will use the break keyword